Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well in our last video we added this little animation here. Uh, today let's add a little product carousel with a call to action button that links to our laptops page. So let's get started. First thing I want to do is edit with Elementor. Now we've got the Elementor panel loaded. Let's go down and I'll delete the little section that I just did and I'll return the section background at how it was also. There we go, that's pretty much how it was last time. The only change I made, we'll do this in the end if you want to do that one. Right, let's get started. Let's go to our matrix. And the first thing I want to do is just add a simple carousel here and then we'll put a call to action button underneath. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to update and get the page up in another panel. Hit the little button to get the page up there. Because I'm going to want to copy my laptop page link so I'm going to right click and copy this link address. We're going to use that in a moment. So let's go down. We've been using the free version. We're trying to complete this site just using the free version of, of uh, the Elementor Builder here. And uh, let's grab an image carousel. Just dropped it where I want it. Now I've got to add some images. Just click on the plus icon there. Let's add our laptop images to the site. Just left click on the images that you want here. I think that will probably do it. Now you can reorder them by simply left clicking and dragging, putting them where you want to put them. Add captions if you want to. I'm not going to add captions to mine. I'm going to simply hit the insert gallery button. And there we have it. By default, it's, it's displaying three at a time here. I really only want it to display one and we'll change the thumbnail size because if I display one it's gonna make it a little bit blurry so we'll say slides to show one and because it's a thumbnail we want to stretch it all the way image stretch we want it to be as big as it can be there we go and that looks a little blurry so let's take the image size up a little bit I'm going to make medium large should do it that's a lot sharper great and it's on autoplay which is exactly what I want autoplay pause on hover fantastic you can change the speed here as well on additional options I want it to keep going round and round and round and I want it to slide is absolutely fine take the actual animation speed down a bit the time it takes to actually change from one to the other let's take that up to about eight that's great so the only other thing I think I'll give it a little padding left and right just so it's slightly smaller let's put our button in first though decide whether we actually need to do that I don't think I need any padding top and bottom so let's go into the advanced tab here still on our module and take away any padding top and bottom that we've got or what we could do is just add a little bit right and left so I'll uncheck that if you leave that checked it'll do them all, all at the same time let's put 50 right and 50 left padding wise that should help a little bit. Now let's add our button. Let's go back to our matrix. And we're just simply going to grab a button. Drop it where we want it. And let's say laptop clearance. I want that button to be in the middle. You can have it left, right, you can have it justified so it stretches the whole width. I think I'll just have mine in the middle for the time being. Now the link, that's where we want to put our laptop page link, which I just copied earlier on. I'm going to put that one in there. 
Now the button color itself, let's go over to our style. And here's the text color, that's white, that's fine. Background color, let's make that red like the rest of our store here. I want to make that button a lot bigger so we can go back to our content. And here's the size. Let's make that extra large. I want it pretty big, but I don't want any corners on it. So we'll go back to style, border type, border radius. That's what's giving it the corners. If I put zero in there, that'll be square again. There we go, fantastic. Now my text, I think I'm just going to put that uppercase. So if I go into typography, size is fine, but I just want it to be capitalized. So I'm going to go to transform and hit uppercase. Great, that's just exactly what I want. Now the cover on holler, the color on hover, I think I'm going to make that blue. Text color can stay the same. And now when we hover over it, it'll take blue. That's absolutely fantastic. You can give it a animation if you want, like we did with the others. I'm just going to leave mine just plain as it is. That's fine. And let's give it a little bit of box shadow. Let's put it in there. Let's just offset it a bit so we can see it a bit more. Blur's fine. Let's take that spread just down a little bit. Something like that. Fantastic. Let's update our button. Now let's go back to this module and what I want to do is I'll link this to that same page as well so if they click on the image or the button it's going to take them to the laptop page so let's go to our content and here's the link custom URL and I'll paste the, our laptop page link in there too fantastic now the only other thing that I really want to do is just sort of put a background image in behind this section here to make it look a little more interesting. So if we go up to the tab for the section, the little blue tab at the top there, click on it and it'll take you to the section. Go to background. And we've got background type. Let's put a slideshow and if you just put one image in there, it'll just act as an image background. Now I'll put in that image. As you can see, it's back there now. And we want to, looks like we've got an overlay going on there. So let's go to our background overlay. Let's take that color away and make it black. And you can slide your opacity slider up for the more image you want to show there. If you don't want any, you can go up all the way. I want a bit of that just showing in the background so we've got some contour back there and that's pretty much it let's update our page and we'll take a look go down to where we were and there it is we've got our carousel sliding nicely it's got a hover link and I can see from the link that's showing me down there that's going to go to our laptop page let's test out our button Great, taking us straight to our laptops page, just what we wanted. So there you have it, there's how to add a simple product carousel with a call to action button that takes you to the laptop page. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.